Yeah, I made my name in the summer of Sam. It's difficult to understand, but I left them speechless. Secret agent war. Silence the lambs, now they zombies. They only wanted the taste, but lost faith. Till I kicked the flavor for the non belief Rough, rugged, and raunchy. When I hear drums, I'm prone to implant carcinogens in your lungs. Your source free from the tongue will put a hex on your soul. You'll be waiting to exhale. But you'll lack the breath control. I maintain the threshold and stay killing it. When all else fails, I tell tales that's villainous. TCK massive. Provokes death to the masses, so to speak. That was stuck in a bad trip on mad hits of bad shit. Lost. Lost. Like the city of Atlantis. See, we those bad kids clicking and clacking through Manhattan. Nigga, trace the origin, New York breeds razor blade swordsmen Where it's like, fuck your life, cause it's not important True Guys, killer, killer, what is up? Killer, Welcome killer. to another episode of Maximilian Must Know This is going to be the weekly uh, wrap up for this week uh, Before we get into my son of the day real quickly I wanted to talk to you guys about the The, um the demo that I just posted in the intro, it's, a, it's by um, an artist named Yak Ball, and then it's from, I want to say early 2000s, the joint called TCK, it's one of my favorite demos uh, that was played in the Stretch and Barbados show, so I know the quality is shitty, but it's one of my favorite joints, so I wanted to play it. Set of the day today, guys, the pretty brand new Noir Exquius by La Artist and Parfumé. When I, you know, you guys know I'm trying to save a little bit to get my iPad Pro, but when I found out Dusho 4 was doing a new La Arta Sunset, I had to, had to cop it. So, um, you'll be getting a, a review of this guy, um, this weekend, or I'm sorry, next weekend. So this is coming up, uh, pretty, pretty soon. This will be the next review you guys see. So, um, before we get into the, the weekly wrap up, I just wanted to let you guys know that you guys might know I have a blog, maxmno.com, and I've kind of, after I counted down my top 100 favorite scents, I kind of left it and, and I really haven't updated it in a while. And then I'm sure some of you know that this week, Base Notes, our last week, Base Notes, released their top 500 modern perfumes. I thought it was a really cool list. Um, I went through the entire list. I saw that I had tried 212 of the 500. Um, I own 104 bottles of the 500, and I own an additional 50 or 49 samples of the 500. So 153 I have in my collection total. Uh, and then I decided I want to take it further. I want to try to try all 500. You know, some I can get from Decan Shop, some I can try in stores, some are going to be a little bit harder. Some are niche and indie perfumeries. I, I emailed some of the perfumers and let them know what I was trying to do. And, you know, could I do videos on their fragrances? And, and they're sending me some of them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on my blog, I'm going to weekly, at least weekly, probably twice a week, make a, make a post uh, going through those 500 cents. I'm going to try to go through all 500. It's going to take a long time, uh, but just a brief write up on each one men sent, women sent, discontinued sense. I'm going to try to get my hands on all of them. It's going to be like a, I don't know, a challenge. And I'll let you know what I think of each one, uh, a brief write-up, sort of like I did with my top 100 fragrances of all time. So I'm going to link in the description to that blog um, and the kickoff post, and, and I hope you guys will, will frequently check in there. Um, and I'll, I'll try to make mention of it during the weekly updates. So what did we do this week? So first we looked at a razor that I had picked up, uh, a Parker, I believe it was 91R. Um, really nice starter safety razor. Someone asked me a very good question. You know, is it better to get the 91R or the fairly new double comb, double sided open comb razor that Phoenix had sent me? And I would say the Phoenix is the better uh, option. It's a little more expensive, but I really dig that open comb. Uh, I just feel like it's a better quality piece. So. Um, that's what I would recommend. We took a look at, uh, we did a scent safari this week where we looked at a fairly new house called Room 1015, started by um, a psychedelic rock and roller. Uh, really cool scents that Twisted Lily and, uh, and Lucky Scent are, are selling. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, looking at those. Uh, I did a video uh, this week on my top five favorite reviewers, which was fairly well received. Um, you know, some people, some um, some people commented. You didn't mention, you know, Sebastian. You didn't mention Christos, 
and you know I like Sebastian's videos I like Christos's videos I said when I did the video I can't I don't want to I can't name everyone whose videos I check out um, so it's really just trying to be about the people that I watch um, more often than not we did a sample shopping this week I got a new pack or a new package from Adrian at Decan shop this week we looked at Loie Fair by Frederick Ma, which was a uh, didn't really love that 1932 by Chanel, which was okay. Um, Riverside Drive by Bond, okay. And, and 1920 Extreme by Boys 1920. Didn't really love any of those. I thought they were all good, but none of them really blew me away. Um, I did the iPhone 6 Plus S review. Uh, and most people, you know, don't really check for that. You know, I guess it's not a really... I guess a lot of fragrance people don't love tech videos, which is, you know, fine by me. I, I, I enjoy um, doing them. I know I can do them better, uh, but I felt I wanted to do, um, I, I just always want to review Apple products when I get them. And then the fragrance review this week, uh, we took a look at Black Oud by Remy Latour, which is growing on me more and more, um, even since the review. I've really, um, really enjoyed, um, really enjoyed that. So, uh, next week, a lot of cool stuff coming. I have so much content coming, guys. I got packages this week from um, Ginger's Garden, which is a wet shaving artisan house. She sent me uh, an aftershave and a shaving soap, so we're doing a video on them. Van Ule, who you guys know I did a video about Van Ule shaving soaps. Van Ule um, really blessed me and sent me, like, psh, it's like 10 samples of their skincare products, their face exfoliator, their deodorants, their moisturizers, of uh, their um, their aftershave balm, aftershave splashes, and new soaps. I'm going to have two new Van Ule videos coming out. Just a bunch of a bunch of stuff. Um, it's going to be a crazy, crazy week coming up. You'll see in the scroll after. I think we have videos every single day this week coming up. Um... And I uh, saw a couple of flicks this week. Um, I saw Eden, which for those of you who don't know, is a film about French house music, sort of in the late 90s when Daft Punk was coming up. I thought it was a really cool movie, very visually striking. Um, and it's just, I'm not really into that type of music, but I like Daft Punk. And it was sort of the, the perspective of like a, um, a house music producer that that never made it you know like Daft Punk made it and this dude was competing with Daft Punk and he did that he had to watch Daft Punk blow up well he kind of failed at music and it was I thought it was just really fun to to to, to look at a music movie from that perspective um, and then I saw the Entourage film which I thought was horrible um, I don't know, man. I like that show the first couple of seasons. And, and Jeremy Piven's role, I, I'll still say, is, is Ari is one of the best um, TV characters of all time. You know, along with a Tony Soprano and a, a Marlo Stanfield and, um, you know, uh, Tyrion uh, Lannister. I, I mean, um, I, I think that you could put Ari Gold, for me at least, right up there uh, with, with any of them. Um, but I just thought the movie was lame. That's a show that just should have really hung it up a long, long time ago. And we will have a new podcast this week. You can see we're back in the swing of things. Me and my, my boy, John Luca. This week we're going to be talking about um, animal abuse, which really fucking bothers me. And vegan, uh, being vegan and being vegetarian, which neither of us are. I definitely will be a vegetarian at some point in my life and we'll probably also touch on the you know the horrible shooting that happened at the, um, the Oregon Community College we'll probably talk a little bit about that because all the gun control shit is is bothering me um so you know you'll have to listen to to hear on that but uh hear more about that uh but so that's it guys that's sort of this week oh uh, I promise you we have a dope week coming up really uh, just a lot. We're going to be doing a lot next week. You know, we'll have, um, I think we're going to continue my How a Gentleman Should Dress series. We've got another Scent Safari. We've got a, we're going to be looking at another Artisan Shaving product. Uh, we're going to review this bad boy. Um, just a lot coming up. So fuck with me. Um, please make sure to check out the, um, the, 
uh, blog in the 500 uh, series I'm going to be doing. Oh, real quick, speaking of movies, for those of you, I don't know if anyone out there likes sort of horror movies like I do. I don't like, like, gory, demonic movies. I like, like, really scary movies. Like, The Strangers is one of my favorite movies of all time. There's a film on Netflix called Creep. Definitely one of my one of the best horror films I've seen in the last ten years. Um, just sort of about a dude who gets obsessed with another dude. It's sort of like a cross between what about Bob and Fatal Attraction. It's fucking but noodles, and the ending you don't see coming at all. The ending like totally fucked me up. Like really had me like, what did that really just happen? Type of shit. Um, so definitely see Creep if you if you get a chance. If you have Netflix, it's streamable. Um, so that's it guys crazy week coming ahead another sample shopping um, next week on sample shopping I'll give you guys a little bit of a preview we'll be looking at chocolate greedy from Montal we'll be looking at patchouli empire from CB I hate perfumes we'll be looking at so blue from Mad Sarah and we'll be looking at aqua de Gio profumo by Giorgio Armani so crazy week on sample shopping just a crazy week in general uh, make sure to check the channel out. And that's it, guys. I'll see you next week with lots of more videos. You know what it is. So picture this, picture it's you by a lonesome. And it's either hit or miss. Hit or miss. Against a million kids with mean streets. No fun, discreet showguns. Yo, son. Why you wildin' on the island? Act up and you'll be chillin' six feet deep on the low. Just hanging out like love.